of the ball. Why'd you do it today? My name is Mariah Bernanke. I'm the head athletic trainer and physical therapist with Chattanooga Football Club. I knew I didn't want to work a desk job growing up, and then I loved my sports medicine classes in high school, so that got me interested in athletic training. I think what kept me there in undergrad is realizing the relationships that the athletic trainers get to have with the players. So like a player comes in, if they're injured, you're not meeting a stranger. You're seeing someone that you know, you see, you talk to them every day, you know how they communicate, you know how their body responds to things, you know their past medical history. And so that gives athletic trainers this advantage to provide really good care and really individualized care. And then for me personally, I really like the high pressure and fast paced environment of working with professional athletes. I like to be able to push them and then they push me back and that is really exciting to me and it makes me want to grow as a practitioner. I knew from, from probably sophomore year of high school that I wanted to do uh, something in the medical field, but I don't think I really knew what it was or even that athletic training was right for me until probably sophomore year of college in the athletic training program where I was like, yeah, this is fun. Like my athletic training classes, those were my favorite classes. I would say my career path to professional soccer and to CFC is um, non-conventional. And I had, do have experience in soccer at a lot of different levels, at the high school level, D1, D2 college, and semi-professional. But most of my athletic training experience was with professional dancers in New York, which was an incredible learning experience to work with these elite athletes that are so in tune with their body and are also so motivated to be at the top of their game. Um, and then COVID hit, so I decided to go to physical therapy school. And my intention was always after school to get back into working with high level athletes and really I wanted to get back into working with, with sports. Even though it can be a lot of pressure and sometimes stressful, it's like at the end of the day you step back and you're like, this is really cool, like I'm enjoying this. And I think really that happens for me, taking a guy through rehab, it's just fun. Like I find myself smiling and laughing through my work. <laughs> the athletic trainer has a unique position where you're with someone the entire uh, the entire way through of their rehab. You get to see the athlete at a lot of different stages. So you're working with them in the very beginning, making sure that they understand what's going on. And then the next step would be, okay, you're ready to be pushed. Your body is strong enough, let's do this. So then you're that force that they now trust to get them better and push them faster. The long game is mental and it's physical. Going through all that with them, like going through the emotional and all those different steps to get them back to their end goal, which is your end goal, is very fulfilling. Like as much as it is for them, fulfilling to get back on the field and reach the goal that they've been setting out to accomplish for the last however many months, for you being able to see them do that, it's like, you know, it's a proud, a proud parent moment almost. Game day is zoom in, focus, get locked in. I think the guys feel that, and I think being in such close proximity with them, it's important that all staff, including the medical staff, has that same mentality. So my conversations with people are more direct, and we're, we're talking about the game, and I'm making sure I'm not pulling them away from the focus that they have. Good. I would suggest shadowing an athletic trainer getting in touch with someone that's doing the work and spending hours immersing yourself in that setting to really figure out if that's what you want to do. But as far as women specifically, at this point, like women, women are doing everything. Women are everywhere. And breaking into professional sports, like if you're the best at what you're doing, if you deserve to be there, it shouldn't be a factor if you're a woman or a man.